There's just no way. The kit man never washed my boots. You're taking the mick. Oh, we're gonna have to get down and dirty. The sleeves are up. I'm gonna show you how to wash these boots properly. All right, listen, we've got premium boots, so we need a premium cleaner. We're going with Jason Marks today, yeah? The idea is that we're gonna have the shoe solution along with a firm bristle brush right here. We then got a soft bristle brush, and then we've also got the microfiber towel. And we're gonna show you how to use all three correctly. So first things first, what I wanna do is make sure that I take the laces out and I also take the inner sole out. So what I'm left with is the hollow boot in itself. Once you've got your hollow boot, you've got to now determine what material your boot's made of. It's very important. So for me, I'm washing an OG, a favorite of mine, the Superfly 1. So I know it's a Tajan synthetic, which means that because it's 10 years old, and also because of the fact that the material is relatively thicker, I can start off very lightly with the firm bristle brush just to scrape off this first layer of mud and make sure that once that first layer has come off, I can then get into the nitty gritty with the softer brush. So what we're gonna do is gonna take the solution and our soft bristle brush, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna add a few drops into the brush, okay? Don't need too much. From there, you're gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, now, the idea is that you're gonna create a lather, okay? So now you see all this soap starting to pop through. That's perfect. This is what you're then gonna use along the upper. So you're really gonna get into a circular motion to try and get all the mud and dirt that's in between the shoelace holes, in between the connecting part of the upper to the sole plate. Again, keep that circular motion right the way throughout as you go into your deeper clean. Now that you've done step one, on to step two. And we're gonna introduce the soft bristle brush and the Jason Mark solution. Now the reason why I've chosen Jason Mark solution is because I use it for my sneakers. And the idea is that it has 98.3% natural ingredients. So in terms of safety and not damaging the upper of my boot, that's gonna be essential. Okay, as you can see, the boot starts to take shape very nicely in terms of its cleanliness. Now, we're gonna to switch to step three, the sole plate. Now for the sole plate, it's a two part process. Firstly, we're gonna refer back to that hard bristle brush. Of course, we've got the carbon fiber sole plate. It's gonna be perfect for cleaning that. You're gonna add a bit of solution, same process as last time, a few drops on the top, and you're gonna to get to work. This is where you've got to do the nitty gritty, you feel me? All right, so now it's really taking shape. The sole plate's looking clean, the upper's looking clean, but when you wash your boots, normally you find there's little details of mud that are trapped between the studs, between the upper and the sole plate. So you need a detailer. That's why you need to get one of these. And I know everyone's got one of these. A little toothbrush does absolute wonders in terms of going over the fine details to making sure you grab every single bit of mud off that boot. The final stage of cleaning your boot is checking that there's no grit and extra mud that's inside that would have occurred from playing in the match. So you're gonna reach your hand inside first, have a feel. If you can see that inside, use your toothbrush. Again, you can reach further into your boot with the toothbrush and you can also get into smaller minute details brush the inside. Boom, you've cleaned the inner chassis. Now what you need to do is give it the final flush. So with water, you place it inside the boot and all around. That's gonna help you get rid of all the little grit. Whilst you're flushing the boot out, just double check it and make sure that no grit or dirt is left behind. That's crucial of course, otherwise you'll be wasting your own time. If there is, and again, back to that toothbrush technique and get into those final bits of detail. Okay, so using the microfiber towel. And the idea, of course, is gonna wipe the upper first and foremost, making sure that everything is super dry there. Go onto the tongue as well, don't forget. Once you've done that, you're then gonna move onto the sole plate. Again, getting onto each little stud as well to ensure that it's completely dry. And then finally, you're gonna move into the inner chassis and you're gonna make sure that, again, that's dry as well. If it's not fully dry, just leave it for 24 hours. Simple air dry will be absolutely fine. And then of course, you can prep them by putting your laces back in and your inner sole. Kinda like this. So now you've got your finished 
clean boot. There you have it, that is how to clean your boots properly. If you like the video, give us a massive thumbs up, subscribe to us here in the Kit Lab, and let us know what football hacks you wanna see next right here on the channel. I'm AK, we're signing out, peace.